Maps and Computers. Map makers have been drawing maps by hand for centuries. At first, explorers would sketch coastlines as seen from their ships. Then over time, instruments were created to help map makers make more accurate maps. This is done by a process called surveying. In 1970s, map makers started using computers to digitize locations of map points, and this revolutionized map making. With computers, map makers were able to store, process, and display map data electronically. Computers also allowed map makers to use that data from sources such as satellites and the Global Positioning System, or GPS. GPS and satellites now allow you to have maps and directions sent to a device in real time. Look at the map on your device and you will be able to see water and land features, elevation features, and even a road that is currently being built. The Global Positioning System, or GPS, collects data for maps finding longitude, latitude, and elevation points on Earth's surface using satellites. The images from satellites are made up of millions of tiny dots called pixels. Each pixel in a satellite image contains information on the color and the brightness of a part of Earth's surface. The data in each pixel is stored on a computer. When the satellite image is printed, the computer translates these digitized data into colors. Topographic maps are created by the United States Geological Survey, or the USGS, as part of a national mapping program. This program includes state and federal partners to provide mapping information for the country as a whole. The purpose of this mapping program is to provide information that is useful for managing the nation's natural resources, mitigating natural disasters, understanding the land and the processes that affect it, as well as many other uses. A topographic map is a map showing the surface features of an area. It uses symbols to portray the land as if you were looking down on it from above. It provides highly accurate information on the elevation, relief, and slope of the ground surface. To provide the accurate information found in topographic maps, map makers use contour lines to represent the elevation, relief, and slope. A contour line connects points of equal elevation. The change in elevation from contour line to contour line is called the contour interval. Usually, every fifth contour line, known as an index contour, is darker and heavier than the others. Index contours are labeled with the elevation in round units, such as 1,600 or 2,000 feet above sea level. In this course, you'll be asked to read a topographic map, and in order to do that, you must familiar, familiarize yourself with the map's scale and symbols and be able to interpret the map's contour lines. Look at the topographic map in the figure. The closely spaced contour lines indicate steep slopes, while the widely spaced contour lines indicate gentle slopes or relatively flat areas. If a contour line forms a closed loop with no contour lines inside it, it indicates a hilltop. The shape of the contour lines also help to show ridges and valleys. V-shaped contour lines pointing downhill indicate a ridge, while V-shaped pointing upwards indicate valleys. This is a good place to stop and try to show what you know.